All right, so my friend Zach just called and he had uh, a bunch of raccoons living in his shed and he had to take care of them. So I asked him if I could have one of them and he said, sure. And it is legal. I looked it up on the New York DEC site and it says um, that the law allows a farmer or landowner to remove or dispose of, I don't remember the exact words, I'll have a picture up. So I'm gonna be at Zach's house. So we just got the raccoon from Zach. He showed us where it was in the barn, or the garage there. And I guess it climbed up on top of the roof and knocked a hole in the roof to get in. And it had babies, which it destroyed a section of the garage. And so he got rid of the babies and he gave the mom to me. So, I'm gonna head back home and skin it up. All right guys, so I did some research and I found out it's pretty normal for a mama raccoon to go up on someone's roof and knock a hole in it or find an existing hole and go right in their attic and have babies. This picture you can see where it's climbing on the roof and here's a picture of Zach's roof. You can actually see the hole where it knocked it in and went into the attic and then you can see the coon in the attic here and that is where it went in Zach's garage and then you can see the litter of babies and there's the babies that that coon had it in Zach's garage so it actually did some damage and thought I'd just show this to you guys and let's get back to the coon all right so I got it right there um, I'm actually gonna let it sit till tomorrow cuz I gotta eat and do homework still but tomorrow I'm gonna be back up get the pulley ready and skin it up and stretch it so I'll be back So this is the first time I'm actually seeing the coon. I just took it out of the garbage bag. And it stinks pretty bad. Probably should have did it yesterday, but. All right, so Zach said that he got a, a nick in the stomach. I'm not sure where, but I'll find that when I'm skinning it. Besides that, it looks like a pretty good size Mama Coon. Kinda scary looking. Um, I'm gonna skin it. 
skin it up. Die hard hunters. Alright, so I'm down to one glove. So, I can't use that, so I'm just gonna wear a pair of camo hunting gloves. Off. Perfect. There it is. Gonna make a good hat. So since this coon I actually had sit overnight, I'm not going to eat it. Yes, we do eat some of them, but I'm going to bring it out back and have the coyotes eat it. Actually, is good population control because how many babies each mother raccoon will have, and all you animal lovers will probably hate it. But this one had probably nine, and My sister actually told me to tell Zach to let the babies go in the woods, but they wouldn't live without the mom, so I didn't. So we got rid of all the babies. And I'm taking the fur, because he was just gonna chuck it out back. And I'm gonna do whatever I can with it. So, yeah. Die Hard Hunters. Alright, so some of you might know that I got the new GoPro Hero 5 Black. And the main thing I like about it is it doesn't need a waterproof housing. And you 
can just do this with it. Just gotta wash it off. Get all the clean blood off it. Got her orange. So, it's been hanging up to dry, and the fur is a little ratty, so I'm going to brush it out. Good looking fur. Alright, so to flesh the coon, I still have this fleshing beam, but the garbage can that I used in my last video for fleshing, it broke, so I threw it away, so now I gotta find a way to flesh it. So just take the coon, slide it right over the board. Get it down, good. Tail should be center. And now I'm gonna staple it. Just pull down. Alright, so here's Zach's coon. It's a good sized mom coon and it turned out pretty good. It fleshed, fleshed clean and good job, Zach. Alright, hey guys, as you probably know, turkey season is coming up on Monday, and the other day we went down to Field and Stream and bought some new gear for turkey season. So, I'm going to have a new series coming up, I'm going to upload a daily video, and it'll have a tutorial or a unbox and review of an item, and we just got this stuff and thought we'd share it with you, so hope you like it. Die Hunters.